What's up, this is Jake with Hike 734, hiking the Clear Lake and Ribbon Lake Loop near Canyon in Yellowstone National Park. And um, I started out over by the Wapiti Lake Trailhead and uh, just worked my way around. I actually went counterclockwise, so I saw um, Ribbon Lake first and then looped around to uh, Clear Lake and then came back out. And, and this trail starts out in this really big, broad sagebrush meadow, which makes my heart really happy. And um, it was morning, kind of foggy and spooky and amazing. And um, so I came up to the um, first uh, junction that told me that I needed to go right for Ribbon Lake. So I worked my way up and then came over um, the knoll. And then I looked down um, well, you're kind of looking over into the Hayden Valley, um, which is really nice. And so I was um, looking down there and saw some sandhill cranes, which is great, and just a bunch of like um, hawks and that kind of stuff. And then what happened was I uh, looked up the drainage and I saw a grizz that was kind of foraging his way down. So I moved up onto a knoll and I watched him for a while and that was fantastic. And so um, at the end of this blog, I'll put more footage. So um, if you wanna see more footage, stick around. Um, but yeah, from there, the trail just keeps going through these nice meadows and then it kind of goes into the trees and then the meadow kind of um, fingers in and out of the trees um, for a while. So it kind of gives you some really just neat little um, you know, it's just some change of scenery, I guess. And then you come out to this big, uh, or to it, this, this cool meadow that has a, a boiling pond. And I saw some ducks out there, which I think is very funny. And then from there, um, went to trees. And then I was in trees for quite some time. Um, overall, wasn't very steep or anything, but just spent some time in the trees. It was a nice forest. Um, and got to see some birds and whatnot. And um, yeah, just after a while of kind of doing that sort of a thing, I ended up uh, coming to this little creek that was trickling through, which ultimately ended up emptying into Ribbon Lake. And that little lake, uh, the problem that I have with it is you really don't get close to that Ribbon Lake unless you um, go through one of the campsites. And um, so anyways, I wrapped around there, just looking at the lily pad, um, kind of marshy areas around that. And, um, and so I, I, before I actually got to the edge of the lake, there's this, uh, you can hike a little bit further along the trail and go to Silver Cord Cascade. And you can really only see the bottom of it without getting too crazy and sketchy. Um, but man, you're looking down at the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone River, which is super amazingly fantastic. And um, yeah, just that can't be overstated. And uh, as I moved along, just got different views of that. And then um, anyways, went through and kind of crashed through a camp and saw Ribbon Lake. So turned around and started heading back and coming out of Ribbon Lake. It's a little bit of a climb to go ahead and get out of that. And then you just are traversing through um, Lodgepole, just a Lodgepole forest, nothing super remarkable. There are a couple of pocket little ponds and I have heard that there are some moose in the area, but I did not see any. Um, the first junction you come up to while you're heading down the Clear Lake Trail is a junction that heads off over to the South Rim Trail. And there's a, if you just take that for a couple hundred yards, you'll see a, a cool little pond back there, which is always just worth checking out for waterfowl, moose or whatever. So you go back to the Clear Lake Trail and you start working your way down towards Clear Lake. So it's really cool because you end up coming across all of these geothermal features and I just, I just think the moonscape thing is pretty sweet. Um, not my favorite terrain, but it's definitely super interesting and cool just to like walk through. So anyways, did that. And then after that, you pop out to Clear Lake, which is just one of those really cool kind of otherworldly looking lakes. And uh, yeah, really amazing colors of that. And then from there, you climb back up a little bit and you end up popping back out onto um, the Clear Lake Trail and the, uh, you know, the Wapiti Trail back to the trailhead. So anyways, you can do this as a loop. I'm going to go ahead and do another blog where I do the South Rim um, coupled with Clear Lake. So anyways, a couple different ways to go ahead and sort it out. There's just a handful of different trails. Um, there's a, a couple of other lakes and stuff in this area, but they're all closed, I believe, due to wolf uh, denning or something along those lines. But anyways, this is Jake with Hike 734 hiking the Clear Lake and Ribbon Lake Loop in Yellowstone National Park near Canyon Junction.
If you like this video, subscribe on YouTube and head over to hike734.com for more goodness.